Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino PLC IDE workspace, Unleashing the Power of Automation. Now the Arduino PLC IDE is an integrated development environment that supports all languages defined in the IEC standard. The software's workspace facilitates all of these activities involved in creating an application, including textual source code editors for instruction list and structured test programming languages as graphical source code editors for ladder diagram, function block diagram, and sequential function chart programming languages. Additionally, the IDE includes a compiler that translates IDE standard applications directly into machine code, eliminating the need for runtime interpreter and ensuring fast program execution. The communication system allows for the application to be downloaded to the target environment, such as an Opta PLC, and the IDE also provides an array of debugging tools ranging from an easy to use watch window to more advanced sampling tools that gather accurate and reliable data directly from the target environment. This post examines the Arduino PLC IDE workspace and its different components. We will briefly discuss each element so that you can grasp its function and how it can aid in your automation solution. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Workspace Window You'll notice two separate panels within the Workspace Window, the Project and Resources panel. The Project panel is where you'll find all the elements of your project organized in a tree-like structure. You can custom folders to the project tree to reorganize the details according to your preferences. In this panel, you'll also find a task list which displays available tasks and the programs that have been assigned to them. The contents of the resources panel vary depending on how the target device is interfacing with the PLC IDE. It may include configuration elements, schemes, wizards, and more. Output window. In the PLC IDE, all output messages are printed to the output window. It consists of four tabs, build, find in project, debug, and resources. The build tab displays the output when a project is opened, compiled, or code is downloaded to the target device. The find in project tab shows the results of the find in project activity. The Debug tab provides information about advanced debugging activities such as breakpoints. Additionally, depending on the target device being interfaced with, the PLC IDE can print every PLC runtime error on this output window, pinpointing the exact location of the error. Lastly, the Resources tab displays messages related to the specific target device the PLC IDE is interfacing with. Source code editors. The programming environment of the PLC IDE comes equipped with a range of editors, which enable you to handle, modify, and print source files in any of the five programming languages outlined by the IEC 61131 3 standard. Additionally, there are spreadsheet like editors that facilitate the creation of global and local variables. Document bar. In the PLC IDE, the document bar displays a list of currently open documents available for editing. Watch window. The watch window is a useful debug tool. Other debug tools include the oscilloscope triggers and the live debug mode.
Library Tree. Libraries are a powerful tool for sharing objects between PLC IDE objects. Inside the library tree are elements like operators and standard blocks, which list language elements such as operators and functions defined by the IEC 61131-3 standard. System variables, or target variables, list all the variables between the firmware and the PLC application code. Target definitions list all the system functions and function blocks available on the specific target device. Status bar. The status bar displays the application state on the left side and an animated control reports the communication state on the right side. Toolbars. Arduino PLC IDE software allows you to hide or show specific toolbars to customize the workspace fully. The toolbars contain icons that work as shortcuts for the menu commands. Each method of programming in the environment will have a toolbar. Other toolbars are there to perform functions like downloading, compiling, adding variables, etc. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.